If you're looking for love, find a man like Pierre Curie. In 1903, the Nobel Committee planned to award the Nobel Prize in Physics to Pierre Curie and Henri Becquerel, completely ignoring Marie. No woman had ever won before. The irony? Marie's entire PhD thesis was on radioactivity. She even coined the term radioactivity from the Latin word for ray. Pierre was so fascinated by her work that he later joined her to continue the research. But when the Nobel Committee left her out, Pierre refused the prize unless Marie was recognized. He insisted that honoring their research without acknowledging her would be an injustice. The committee gave in and Marie became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize, sharing it with her husband. The meeting between Maria Salomea Skłodowska and Pierre Curie in the spring of 1894 would change not only their individual lives but also the course of science itself. Their connection was not just of hearts but of minds. In Marie's own word, my husband and I were so closely united by our affection and our common work that we passed nearly all of our time together. They worked side by side, uncovering the mysteries of radioactivity until Pierre's tragic death in 1906. Yet, in her grief, Marie refused to stop. She devoted her life to continuing their work, raising two children while establishing a world-class laboratory in Paris that would be worthy of Pierre's memory. In 1911, she won a second Nobel Prize in chemistry, becoming the only woman in history to win two Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields, physics and chemistry. Their daughter, Irène Joliot Curie, carried their legacy forward, winning her own Nobel Prize with her husband in 1935. Together, Marie and Pierre didn't just fall in love. They revolutionized science together for the betterment of mankind. <laughs>